So here are the basics on how a rain screen works, why we use them and how we build them. If you look along this wall, you're gonna see these one by four cedar panels that are taken from these fence boards. It takes about 40 panels to build a house this size. Um, they're milled down, planed down, sanded on the edges, oiled and put in place. Now you'll see when you look here, there's no overlaps. There's a breathing space through every single, on every single joint, there is a space through it. Right back here is the double bubble R-foil radiant barrier. It sits over top of a perforated moisture barrier. Um, and there's a reason it's perforated. We wanna suck moisture out when we build a negative flow against this wall, negative pressure against this wall as hot air rises. There's a three quarter inch gap behind here. The three quarter inch gap allows this heat, this air in here to be superheated, rise, pull ambient temperature air into it and cool as it goes out the top. It cools, it condenses, creates a negative pressure against the inside wall, pulls out any extra moisture that's inside the wall that normally shows up in, especially in the wintertime on your, on your windows and um, just makes a, a small space uncomfortable when there's too much moisture. And that can happen so easily in a shower, brewing some coffee or just the, the moisture we give off in our breath. Okay, so we have these battens. Uh, some houses we run them one foot on center, some we run them two foot on center. Uh, they screw, we screw all the way through the sips into these guys from the far side. And then a panel sits in there just like this and screws in. Doesn't take too much. We back oil every one of them first, end oil all of them, and then we install them and give them the final two coats of oil. And then you'll want to maintain it with a uh, oil coat once a year. Okay, let's see what we've got here as far as temperature. I've got 109 on the, uh, I don't know, 109, 110. Then that's on the outside of the siding where the sun's hitting it. Then on the actual radiant barrier, there's 10 degrees cooler, 100 degrees. And then let's go to the inside wall. That is only two inches of insulation. No sheetrock and another coat. Let's see what we got here, 83 degrees. So we have a 17 degree difference from the inside to the outside. Now it's important to know that the uh, ambient temperature today is 85 degrees. The ground itself, the ground itself is 113 degrees. So that's how we build rain screens. I don't know why they call them rain screens. To me, they're more, uh, uh, sunscreens and anything else, but they also work in cold weather just as well as they work in warm weather. Uh, you're going to love them on our houses. Try them on yours. Look, follow us on YouTube, and you're gonna you're gonna see how we put them on this new house from beginning to end. How we mill them down, and you can make them too. They're free materials. Give it a try yourself.